Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, as Christians, we are called by Jesus to watch for the signs of his return. One of the most prominent signs we see currently is recorded in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 to 4. In the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verses 3 to 4, we read the following. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Also, when you go to the book of Jude and go to verses 17 to 18, we read the following. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Just walk up to the majority of professing Christians or unbelievers mentioning anything about the Lord's return and watch the response you will get. Most likely, you will get a weird look and they will say something like this. Every generation has been saying Jesus is coming and he hasn't come. Things will continue on as they always have. Well, in Noah's day, people seeing the construction of the ark would have scoffed at him thinking, look at this clown and his family. What a bunch of fools. Noah preached for many, 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 many years. Then suddenly the flood came, overtaking the world. Only Noah and his house, consisting of eight people, and the animals that accompanied them were spared. In Lot's day, the angels hastened Lot and his family to escape Sodom and Gomorrah due to the impending destruction of the cities. We then learn that when Lot told his two sons-in-laws of the coming judgment, they mocked him. In Genesis chapter 19, verse 14, we read the following, And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. In both cases, we can clearly see that when the warnings went out, Noah and Lot were met with ridicule. Then sudden destruction came. Fast forward thousands of years, and here we are in what I believe is the terminal generation before the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the signs are all there. Millions upon millions of believers worldwide have family members, friends, and co-workers that will mock and scoff at them when they mention the Lord's return. To reiterate, the world mocked Noah, they mock Lot, and they will mock us. So rather than getting discouraged because of the mocking and scoffing many of you are enduring, especially from those closest to us, be encouraged that they are fulfilling Bible prophecy. What they are doing is actually showing us how close we are to Jesus coming for his bride at the rapture of the church. If you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us 
from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. It's horrific. But the reality is, if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me and God bless you all.